Pod Gamer Dude! Uh -huh. During the 3DS and Wii U era, the Mario Sports and Mario Party titles all went through a very weird stage of its time. It tried to do something or give us something that was different, and it just ended poorly. My god. I was gonna do both series at once in one video, but I decided to split them up. This video is all about the Mario Sports titles first. Again, I'm mainly focusing on the Mario Sports titles released on the 3DS and Wii U. So, no Switch era. That'll be its own video. I'm not gonna be counting the Mario and Sonic titles, by the way, released on 3DS and the Wii U, as those are its own things. So mainly, I'm gonna be focusing on the Mario Focus titles. First up, we had Mario Tennis Open and Mario Golf War Tour. Both I did hear good things about. I sadly never owned these titles. I did play Mario Tennis Open, cause one of my cousins had it, and I enjoyed it for what it had. I'm more of a Mario Tennis guy than Mario Golf, but I did notice that Mario Golf had like a lot more. It even had a single player experience, had DLC, so it was a pet title, even for a 3DS title. Both these games were good and okay for the most part. I like the new gimmicks for both of them, but then we jump into the Wii U. Um, when the Wii U was around and Nintendo released titles on both the 3DS and Wii U, and these titles were just... God, they are lame! I'm getting the most obvious one out right now. You all know what I'm talking about. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. This title. <laughs> oh my Luma. It annoys the Luigi out of me. And I love the guy. This game. Oh my god. Was just not even a full-fledged game as many would say. It was just a tech demo. The main gimmick, aside from the ones returning from Tennis Open, was using the Mega Mushroom. That's it. Toads would throw you these mushrooms and you would grow big with a cutscene that slows down the game, by the way. You can't skip it or anything. And you get stronger, obviously. That's it. That's it. That's all we get. Not only was this gimmick the most uninteresting gimmick, the content and everything about the game was just nothing. Only one tennis court with just skins of different court styles. That's it. Really? Just one tennis court? Uh, what? How? How do you even think to only have one court with skins? W what is that? Why? We had no tournaments, and the only other uh, gameplay modes options that we had was tennis with just the shots from open, or no gimmicks at all, and then a ball rally, and then just a knockout nonstop mode. That's it. That's all we got. Oh, and then obviously online, but eh, that was nothing. Oh, and guess what? You can even unlock all the core styles, all the star characters, and even the characters you have to unlock literally easily by just spending coins. Which are very, 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 and I mean very so easy to stock up on. The roster itself wasn't even that good. Even if this was Rosalina's sports debut, and adding in Sprissy Princess for some reason. This really was just a demo of Mario Tennis Aces without all the stuff it had. Cause Aces basically had all the models and such from Ultra Smash. So it was like this was Tennis Aces beta on Wii U. Just to have a sports title out for the holiday season. This game shouldn't have been full priced in the slightest. Next, we move on to another sports title for oddly the 3DS. Mario Sports Superstars. I believe this was the last title of Mario for Sports on Mario Sports on the 3DS. This kind of was like a sequel title to Mario Sports Myths, but eh, not really. It didn't even have any of the Square Enix or Final Fantasy characters, so eh. It's just another sports collection, but this time it added more realism, kinda. It had soccer, baseball, tennis, golf, and horse racing. What? We never did horse racing before. Why? I mean, 
one could argue we never did dodgeball or hockey before, and we got bad in sports myths, but... But... Ugh, whatever. This game is just really just boring as heck. Soccer and baseball are so bare bones. They're nothing like strikers or sluggers, because again, they had more realism. So no Mario elements. And the teammates are all just, you know, toes or gumas or whatever in costumes and blah blah blah. It felt like a nothing burger. And then tennis and golf were just copy paste modes of Tennis Open and World Tour. Everything is from those two game titles. Why? Why not? Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? Why would I bother playing those here when I have the full flesh package in these individual titles? You need to offer something different in order for it to stand out. And then we have horse racing, which I think think got the most treatment and the most like paid attention to my detail to because you can create customize and take care of your own horse you can even ride it along the planes and stuff without racing even with all that it wasn't really fun in my opinion it was just eh, whatever and you know what really sucks about all this even though the game is like abysmal the artwork for this game is amazing Look at how serious and toned the style is for these. They really put that much effort into the artwork, and the character roster was actually really decent. Good choices and... What was that? Excuse me? Ew! Yeah, I forgot to mention. The only unlockable characters are Metal Mario and Pink Gold Peach. Cause of course we wanted them! Especially her! <laughs> they are just copy-paste, nothing different. Why? Why? Oh, and you have to unlock them separately in each sport. Meaning, as for an example, even if you get them in, say, tennis, you they won't be there in, say, baseball. You have to unlock them individually in, in every sport. But why would I? Because these two are just... No. No, no, no. I'm not gonna rage in here. I'm not gonna rage. I'm not gonna rage. <sighs> Last thing. They try to do these, um, uh, collect cards to, uh, to collect and, uh, and stuff. And, oh my goodness, so much reused artwork. Ah, uh, make it stop. This game was such a flop. Should have been maybe a console title and changed a lot of it. Maybe it would've been good, maybe it wouldn't have been, maybe the, same, the results would've been the same. Who knows, we'll never know. Again, these two titles was during the weird era of Mario. And the next video will focus on the Mario Party aspect of it all. So, turn it off. These games sucked.